Welcome back to Juggling Gym, where my goal is to help you learn how to juggle and have fun doing it. Today, I'm going to show you another cool beginner trick, 4-2-3. In this video, I'm going to show you four different variations of 4-2-3. These are only a few of the many different 4-2-3 variations. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to go from a cascade to 4-2-3 and how to switch between different versions of 4-2-3 while you're still juggling. In 4-2-3 patterns, one ball is being juggled back and forth, and the other two balls just stay in the same hands. This means that for a brief moment, the outside ball and the inside ball will be juggled in one hand. You need to know side swap notation and how to juggle two balls in one hand in columns and in the regular fountain. The easiest version of 4-2-3 is the W, where you juggle two in one hand in columns. The first exercise to do is 4 0 3 We're gonna throw one ball straight up and one across. Then practice down on your other side. The next exercise to learn is 3 4 0 3, which means you're gonna go across, up, and back. Make sure to practice it on both sides. After that, you're ready for the full trick. If you have problems with this or any of the other 4 2 3 variations, just go back to practicing two in one hand. The tricky part about the W is that the outside ball tends to collide with the inside ball. Make sure to throw the outside ball straight up so there's enough room. The next variation of 4 2 3 is just regular 4 2 3 because we're juggling two in one hand in a regular fountain instead of in columns. It's not as cool or intuitive as the W, but you need to know how to do it for the other variations. First, practice juggling two in one hand and then just throw one to the other side. After that, you're ready for three balls. The next variation is tennis. Start by doing 4 2 3 in a fountain or in columns. Then, push the inside ball to the outside. From there, just do regular tennis throws. It feels a lot like columns with tennis. Here's how to transition from regular 4-2-3 to tennis. Some problems are related to normal tennis problems like collisions. So if you have trouble with that, I already covered that in different videos, which I'll link in the description. For 4-2-3, I feel like the hardest part is making sure you don't do regular jugglers tennis. So make sure to start from 4-2-3 and then transition into jugglers tennis. Don't just try to do it from a cold start. So go from a cascade to 4-2-3. You're just gonna hold one ball and then do two in one hand, and then you can go into 4-2-3. To go back to a regular cascade, you're just gonna throw what would be a four across. I just threw the white ball across instead of up. Then I did the same thing with the green ball. So it's a three instead of a four, and then you're into a regular cascade. To go from four, two, three to the W, just throw the four straight up instead of around. To go from the W to four, two, three, just do the reverse. To go from tennis to four, two, three, make the tennis ball go on the inside instead of the outside. Next week, I'll show you how to do color changing ring tricks, so hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Keep practicing and have fun.